Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to a Tennessee Thirsty Thursday on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Bear Reviews. And I am recording today in my hallway. <laughs> it's a little bit chilly outside. The wind's blowing like crazy. It's sunny and pretty out, but the wind's blowing so hard, it's just going to mess up my, my microphone. And plus, it's cold. That wind is chilly. Uh, so I can't be out there in my short sleeves without freezing death. Anyway, and my beer wall room is all messy and, and I just didn't feel like cleaning it up. So I just perched here in the hallway today. <laughs> so what I've got for you today on a Tennessee Thirsty Thursday is another gift beer from my son-in-law. <clears throat> from the Southern, Gi Southern Grist Brewing Company um, out of Nashville, Tennessee. And what I have is a Twin Lizards Hazy IPA. Twin Lizards. And it's got Lizard on that side, and it's got his twin on that side. Twin Lizards Hazy IPA. Now this stuff is a 8.5% ABV. Um, 16 ounce can. Uh, this is a heavily oated New England style double India Pale Ale. Double dry hopped with Nelson Sovin, Nelson Sovin, all right, it don't have a comma between the Nelson and Sovin, so I'm taking it Nelson Sovin is a type of hop, Nelson Sovin, Citra and Strata, Nelson Sovin, Citra and Strata hops, double dry hopped, all right, so let's see what we got here on a Tennessee Thirsty Thursday, another gift beer. And uh, I looked at the date on the bottom of the can. It was canned on August, I uh, can't remember, August of 2024. I can't remember the exact day. But anyway, it's got a good date on it. And yeah, it's hazy coming right out of the can. Look at that. Super hazy. And it's all head. <laughs> Look at that. Super hazy. Pretty gold color though. Let's get a whiff of that head. The aroma is very light coming off of it. You can you can detect a, a, a hoppy note, but it's very, very mild and light. I mean, it's just a whisper of aroma coming off of it. <clears throat> But pretty head on that thing. <laughs> Anybody love beer like I do? I just appreciate beer. The different kinds of beer. I love I love this right here. This, this is just a, I don't know. I love seeing a, a half and half beer like that. When you pour it off and the head just kind of lingers there. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> Let's get a taste of that head and see what it's like. The head has kind of a, a juicy note to it. Mmm, that head's good. Um, it's got a juicy, almost a fruity, citrusy type flavor in the head there. Mmm, mm, good flavor in that head. <clears throat> but just hazy as it can be, right out of the can. Ah. Southern Grist Brewing Company out of Nashville, Tennessee. 8.5% ABV. Wow. <laughs> Just a pretty hazy brew. Got a pretty color to it. Mm. 
and the his head, the bubbles in his head are extremely fine. Um, I don't know if y'all can, I don't know if y'all can tell it or not, but just really, really fine bubbles in that head. Mmm. And they have a good flavor to it. Now the, the head has a that juicy, citrusy, fruity little bit, you know, kind of, and 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 a little bit of bitterness in the finish of it as well. Not not overly bitter, just a little bit of pleasant. I, I like the bitterness anyway, but the the just a little bit of bitterness in the finish of the head there. I love it. <laughs> Does anybody else like bitterness in beer? Or you know, I'm, I'm sure some people do. Uh, you don't drink an IPA without appreciating some bitterness in it. I don't think. I mean, I. That's one of the things I like about IPAs. They tend to have more bitterness in them than your typical, you know, domestic beer or even the <clears throat> even your uh your Belgian ales, your your uh you know, German brews, stuff like that don't typically have the strong bitterness in them like an IPA does. And and I really like the bitterness and that's one of the things that I like about IPAs is the bitterness in them. Even though this doesn't have a strong bitterness, at least in the head, it don't have a strong bitterness, but it does have a nice, pleasant little bitterness. All right, so this uh, Twin Lizards Hazy IPA, brewed in Nashville, Tennessee by the Southern Grist Brewing Company, at an 8.5% ABV, this is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the hard work that you do to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way just like I do. Cheers, brothers and sisters. So the, uh, the 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 juicy, uh, the juicy note comes through in the body, and not much else. A little bit of bitterness in the finish, about like it was in the head. Just a little bit of bitterness in the finish of it, but the the hot presence. I'm not getting any of the citrusy or the fruity notes in the body of it, like I was in the head. Um, but it's still good. Um, it's more just of a kind of juicy note. Hazy IPA. And, and see, it's got lacing all over the glass there and stuff. Now, I will say this. The body of it is almost... <clears throat> is almost devoid of any carbonation. I'm not detecting a whole lot of carbonation sensation. Uh when I'm drinking the beer, but, uh, and, and usually, I, but it doesn't taste flat. It don't taste flat. I mean, usually you'll get a, a uh, the, the little bubbles, the, the carbonation sensation throughout a beer. Uh, this one does not have it in the body. It, it's almost flat as far as, you know, no bubbles in, in, the, in the, when you're drinking the body of it. And a lot of times, if you don't have that carbonation, it kind of tends to taste flat or has have a, has a, a negative type flavor. This one does not. <clears throat> Even though it does not have the bubbles and it's kind of flat as far as the bubbles go, it does not have a flat flavor. Uh, it still has a good flavor to it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, one of the things you appreciate about beer is that is that carbonation in it, and uh, it, it, but it's not flat tasting. If that makes any sense, I don't know. You know, some I, I've had beers like this that do not have a lot of carbonation in the body of it, and some like if you're drinking a domestic beer and it has no carbonation in it, it tastes flat. It's yucky. The the flat flavor just kind of ruins it. This does not have a lot of carbonation in the body, almost none, but that doesn't deter from the flavor of the beer, if that makes any sense. It, it still tastes good. 
I mean, if I've got a flat beer, a domestic beer that's flat, I'm not going to drink it. It just tastes like crap. It's just not good. Where this one does not have the carbonation in it, but it still has a good flavor. Got that juicy note to it, and it's it's pleasant. I'm gonna I'm gonna score it a B. Um, it's not great, but it's not bad either. I mean, it, it's got a good flavor to it. I think a B is probably a fair score for it. Um, never heard of this brew. I mean, I've, I've I've had some Southern Grist brews before. I think I've enjoyed them, but uh, this one's a little bit different, uh, a little bit unique in the flavor. So I'm gonna score a B. <clears throat> if you get a chance to try any of Southern Grist brews, if you've never tried them, give them a shot. If you ain't never, um, I've, I've had some good experiences with Southern Grist out of Nashville, Tennessee. This is an oddball that I've never seen before. But I mean, and my my son-in-law he picked it up in Johnson City, I think Johnson City, Tennessee. And I, you know, I, that's quite a ways away from from Nashville. I'm closer to Nashville than Johnson City is, and I've never seen this. Uh, I've never seen it in Murfreesboro, where I usually get all my beers. I've never seen this brew. Um, anyway, that's been a Tennessee Thirsty Thursday this week, y'all. I'll be back tomorrow for a Friday's R for you. Love and appreciate y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers. <laughs>